factor is that it's bathing suit season. <laughs> I hear you, girlfriend. <laughs> That's what motivates them. How about you? What does it take or what would it take to get you moving this summer? Well, we're going to have some ideas that we are sharing, but we would love to hear from you with your thoughts and suggestions as well. So go ahead and email me or take our web poll at cn8.tv. Now, on to this year's Philly Fit Bash. This gathering of more than 80 health experts, vendors, and services was a virtual smorgasbord of fitness and fun with more than 2,500 people in attendance. Our It's Your Call correspondent, Kyle Schmoyer, gives us a glimpse into some of the day's events. Well, yes, there's absolutely something for everyone here at the Fit Bash. Right now, I'm inside the de-stressing tent having a little massage on my back. Feels good. Now, let's take a tour around to see what else we found at the bash. The whole point of the bash is we've got so many things in the local area, it's so hard to find. So the bash is putting it all in person. As you know, we've got Philly Fit Magazine. Everything, you can read about it, you can see it, there's addresses. We thought, why not put it in person, come out and see us, touch it, feel it. I think it takes several times of thinking about fitness before you actually act on it. I make rock and roll fitness for kids and for families. And it's all about the fun. It's all about the fact that when you hear wonderful music and you want to share it with your family, you want to get up and move to the music. We're trying to fight a national epidemic here of obesity in our country. And it's not enough to just be a couch potato. You've got to get up there and move. And we want to make it so much fun that people forget that it's really exercise. It's all about being fit. It's all about you know, not having that perfect skinny body, but being fit inside and out and sharing that joy of moving and kinesthetically you know, stretching your body around in order to uh, stay fit. Idea. You need to be playing to have fun, to learn, and it's natural for people to, for children and people to be curious and and to want to learn. So as long as you take all the pressure out of learning and keep it fun as it naturally is, then it's successful. For the slightly more mature.